Hi everyone, my name is Samantha Wang and I'm a product manager at Influx Data. And today I'm gonna to demonstrate how you can integrate the Think Stack with InfluxDB Cloud in minutes. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate how you can quickly send your MQTT data from the Things Network to InfluxDB Cloud. Um, in my demonstration, I'm going to use InfluxDB templates to show how to quickly send, send in that data and import a dashboard for all your devices all in InfluxDB Cloud. When the template gets imported, this is gonna be how the data will flow into InfluxDB Cloud. Um, you'll get your sensors that you'll send that data to the Things Network, and then you'll be able to collect that data from the Things Network via telegraph into InfluxDB, InfluxDB Cloud, where you can then query, set up tasks and alerts on your data. So let's hop into, this, into our demonstration. So just an overview of the, of the various uh, services that I'm using. Uh, this is my Things Stack environment that I'm using. Um, I'm going to be using the MQTT integration with all the information I need here, um, including my server host information um, and my connection credentials. Um, I'm going to be using our InfluxDB templates to send in this data. So, um, and I'm gonna be specifically using the Things Network template created by our developer advocate, Jay Clifford. Um, here you can go to this GitHub page um, with our list of community templates and you can see more information about that, the data you'll be able to see uh, in your dashboards and in InfluxDB uh, via this template. This is what the template will look like and it will give you instructions on how to install the template as well, as well as all the resources that will be included um, once you upload the template. So let's actually go into InfluxDB Cloud. This is what it'll look like when you sign up for InfluxDB Cloud and drop in. Uh, I'm actually going to, as I mentioned, I'm going to use a template that you can, there's a variety of ways you can start sending in your data. You can use our client libraries, you can directly use Telegraph, but I'm going to use, um, Telegraph is our data collection agent. I'm going to directly use um, InfluxDB templates to import a Telegraph configuration as well as dashboards and, and any other resources that I might have. Uh, in my template. So going back to the template, all I need is this YAML file. So I'm going to copy this YAML file and in my InfluxDB cloud under settings and templates, I can find a template that I want. So that's my, the things network. I can paste the URL of that templates manifest file, which was this YAML file I just copied. I can look up the template I, everything I need here, I have, I'm going to import one dashboard, one telegraph configuration, one bucket, um, one variable, and one label, and everything looks good to me. So I'm going to install this template. And there we go. I have five resources, all the things that I mentioned, um, all that's been included with this template. So now this template has been imported. I'm going to actually run the telegraph that was created. So um, I've set up instructions here. If we actually even want to view the telegraph configuration that was that was created if you're not familiar with telegraph telegraph is a data collection a low to no code data collection agent that's all controlled by a configuration file and this is the configuration file that we'll be using um, it'll be outputting to influx db i've already saved all my environment variables that i'll be using such as the influx db host influx db token org bucket um, and then I have all my thing stack configuration here. So as you mentioned, I, that, that server URL that I needed, um, the topics that I'll be reading, I'll be reading all the topics, my security information, the path that of the device I'm, of the devices that I'm going to be um, reading in, my uplink messages, all of this is included in the InfluxDB template. So I'm going to save my change, or I guess I didn't make any changes, so I'm just going to exclude it and find my setup instructions. Um, since I've already exported my token, I'm going to copy this command into the clipboard. I'm going to go to my um, my terminal. This is where my in the previous step I had exported all all that device information, all the token information, uh, and then I'm going to run my telegraph. So my telegraph, as you can see here, is running. It's connected 
to um, the things net, the think stack bucket. It's con it's connected to my things network, and now it will be uh, listening for metrics to be sent um, from the things network to InfluxDB. Uh, I'm only my I know my data only generates on the in minute interval, so depending when Telegraph hits, um, we'll see when data when data gets in. Okay, it looks like we, here it says, it looks like we wrote a batch of three metrics. Uh, so now I'm gonna go into my dashboards and here you can see this is the dashboard that was imported with our template. Um, click into here. Um, I'm going to select the things network stacks bucket that was also imported with the template. And here I can start seeing the devices, the information of the devices that were coming in. So all my information, all the data coming in from the Things Network is appearing in InfluxDB Cloud. I can visualize the location of my LoRaWAN servers on um, a map. I can see my device ban bandwidth. I can see how my um, channel RSSI or SINAR is changing and my connectivity cycle. So um, there you go. There's everything that you need to get started with the Things Network and InfluxDB Cloud by using InfluxDB templates. Thank you very much and can't wait for you to check us out and let us know if you have any questions by dropping in the community Slack or just reaching out on our, on our GitHub and community forums. Thank you very much.